Shay, obviously, this is, this is a young team this year, had some new faces, but overall, just what did you think of the way that this group was able to come together? Saw a lot of energy and just kind of encouragement from the sidelines throughout the season as well. Yeah, um, I think we had fun this year. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Um, it's not worth it if you don't have fun, whether you're winning or losing. Um, I think we did so. Um, we got closer on and off the court, um, and I'm excited for the future of this team for sure. I, I know, you know, sitting out is never hard or never easy for you, but you know, what ways were you trying to continue to support your teammates even though you weren't on the court sometimes? Yeah, um, just be there for them, be there for them on and off the court, um, whatever they need. Um, like you said, obviously a lot of young guys, guys that haven't been through a full NBA season, um, and myself having do, done so, um, just to help them and help guide them. Um, um, nothing new, I would say. Um, ups and downs of the NBA season, typical. Um, learn a little, you know, you, you learn new things offensively and defensively um, every season. Um, so I say like basketball tactics, but myself personally, nothing new. Is the best player and leader on this team, like how transparent um, is the front office, Sam, Mark, uh, with you about the plan and, and the rebuild in general? Yeah, very. Um, we talk all the time. Um, and every time we talk, I get a little bit more excited. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I'm excited for the future of this team, for sure. What gets you excited about? Like, what are you excited about? Um, it, it, it's, it says a lot about having trust um, and being able to trust um, in this business. Um, and I think, like Sam, myself, and, and Coach Mark, um, we had that trust in each other. Um, and I can't go into details, um, but we're excited for the future. Is it easier for you to stay patient that you know the plan and know sort of what to expect in right. these next few years? Absolutely. You scored 30 a game after the All-Star break. And I, you scored pretty consistently all season, but then you made a jump mm -hmm. um, after the All-Star break. Did something click for you? Did something change? Or is it just the flow? What happened there? Um, yeah, so I was out a little bit for my ankle. Um, really got to peel back the layers of, of the season, how I was having it so far. Um, like I said, ups and downs of the season. Um, I had good spurts, bad spurts. Um, and there was a few things I noticed I was doing well when I had good spurts, and I tried to make them emphasis um, just this last little stretch of the season. Um, and I'm a, for sure can try to continue it going forward for next season. What are you looking forward to improving on uh, next season? You got the free throw line more this year. You're still leading the league in drives per game. Like what's what's next for you? Um, continue to work on shooting. Um, you can always be a better shooter. Um, you can always get stronger. Um, but I'd say for me, it's just working on leadership, um, including the guys in my summer a little bit, um, making sure that we're we're still a close knit group throughout the summer. Um, we have a lot of guys that are go their separate ways and are, are from out the country, um, but just trying to keep it as close knit as we can. What is your plan for this summer? Mark said that you, as an older player, you have more autonomy over like how you your training plan and everything like that. Um. So I'm gonna go home um, pretty soon here. Um, do my typical workouts five times a week, um, um, and then we have like a, a few things scheduled team wise um, and individual wise just to like reconnect. Um, and I'll be doing those throughout this summer as well. Sure, you, you were here for a year when you guys won big, now two straight years when you hadn't won much. How do you deal with frustration? Because everybody wants to win. How do you personally deal with the frustration of not winning? Yeah, um, it's tough every night losing. Well, not every night losing, but every night you lose, it's tough. Um, you want to win the game. We're all competitors. Um, I can say that for the guys in this group. We all want to win badly. Um, but when you know it's headed in the right direction, um, and it goes back to my trust in, in Sam and Coach Mark, you know guys are doing the right things behind the scenes. Um, you know it eventually turn around. Um, and when you feel it going in the right direction, it makes it a little bit easier. Having a full off season for the first time in basically two years, how much do you think that's going to help not only you but you know the rookies coming in, players like Maladon and Poku that haven't gotten a full off season yet, 
And then also just like what you're talking about, making sure the team still kind of is cohesive this summer. Right. Um, it'll be huge. Um, we got a chance to step away, um, regroup, look in the mirror, um, and really get better, um, which will ultimately, ultimately make us a better team come next season. Um, but then, like you said, also finding the balance and reconnecting with the group, making sure that we're still a, a tight unit um, so that we go into next season with a little bit of a head start. Your assisted to percentage was 16.8% percent, uh, percent of shots you were assisted on. Um, do you, which was third lowest in the league, do you, is that a number that you want to see go up, especially with Josh coming in? Uh, what's, what stat was that? Assisted to percentage, like the amount of times you were assisted to. Oh, like the amount of times. Unassisted yeah, um, yeah. Oh, unassisted back. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Yeah. yeah um, there's a lot of stats today. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, th that's something that I didn't know existed. Um, but, yeah, I think, um, sure, why not try to improve that number? Um, we have, yeah, we have a lot of uh, guys that can make plays on this team, like Josh, you said. Um, and I think ultimately it'll make the game easier for myself, um, getting more baskets assisted and easier. In the last two years, you haven't really played as much as I would assume that you would want to play. How, what's been the main thing to keep yourself positive? Because it seems like you haven't gotten down. Um, you talking about like games played? Yeah, no, I mean like how do you keep yourself positive? Like what's been the main? Oh, yeah, um, unfortunately both times it's been injuries. Um, so it's not something like I'm sitting out for fun um, or for no reason. It's something I understand. Um, something that I just, I got to take care of. Um, try to avoid those things. Um, but it's easy when you have a, a, a group of guys around you like I do um, and make it easy every day. Um, and and like, I, like I said in the beginning of the interview, you have fun. Uh, makes everything easier. You and Josh didn't get a ton of time on the court together, just very sense being out. But like, what about that pairing between you guys? Are you look forward to, to building on, or like, what are the, some of the things you think you guys can improve when you're on the floor together? Yeah, um, playing off of one another. Um, um, I think you see guys in the NBA, um, Steph and Draymond. Um, Damian Lillard and CJ at one point, um, Nurk a little bit. Um, I think like tandems are, are really hard to guard in this NBA, obviously. Um, and both of those examples I gave you have been uh, together for a very long time. Um, and, and it takes time to be that good. Um, and I think the earlier me and Josh attack it, um, the better we'll be and the better this team will be. Shane, the, the optimism you expressed about the future, how much of that is tied into you knowing how good you can be? Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident in myself um, and confident in, in, in how good I can make my teammates. Um, and I think that's the front end of it. Shane. You know, the, 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 the tandems you mentioned are obviously elite level uh, combos. Um, so if you're including you and Josh in that, you obviously have a pretty high opinion of Josh. Um, yeah. What did you see in him? Uh, this season that gives you that confidence to believe you guys can be that kind of confidence? First is his confidence level um, in himself. Um, I think that's that's the first thing you need. Um, and he's not the most skilled, most athletic player in the NBA. Um, he might be the most smart, but he's not the other two. Um, and he gets it done every night. Um, and he's super confident in himself. Um, and, and, that, and that's first and foremost. Shay, what do you think of? This is just a second. She tried to go like five times. <laughs> uh, so you were talking earlier about knowing the plan and how that sort of gives you a sense of positive, uh, you know, thought. But it seems like you just might be a positive guy overall. But is that true? Do you do you think you sort of have an inner working that sort of maybe makes you, I don't know, just positive in general? And has if so, does that help you um, as you navigate through all this? Yeah, I'm I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Um, but I'm human, um, and if, if I don't like something, you guys, you guys will see it. Um, that's not the case in this situation. Um, I'm, I'm positive for for a reason, and, and I, I have good reason to be so every day. Yeah. What'd you see from a Trey Man this year? Yeah, um, kid can play for sure. Um, it's fun to watch, obviously, um, and we kind of saw him get better every every chance he got throughout the season. By the end of the season, he was a pretty good player. Um, no matter what defense he saw. 
Um, I think that says a lot about him. Um, getting better through time, through experiences, um, and I'm excited for his future as well. You just wrapped up year two with Mark. He's kind of been being known as a player's coach. What's your comfort level with him moving forward in this rebuild? Yeah, I'm super comfortable with him. Um, me and him communicate all the time. Um, on the same page pretty much all the time. Uh, and like you said, he's a player's coach, wants the best for us. Um, he's open to suggestions, always has an open ear. It's not an ego thing with him. Um, he always says he's the head coach, but the players win games. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a good guy, and, and, I'm, and I'm glad he's leading this team. Shay, one guy where you guys, one area where you guys were really strong this year was on the defensive end. You guys were at full tilt. You were top ten defense in the league. What do you think of the identity that you guys were able to build and kind of establish this year on that number four? Yeah, um, I just think we knew as a group we were aware of the situation. Um, we weren't the biggest guys out there um, most nights. Um, but we knew we had to scrap and claw uh, defensively, help each other out, um, really play a five-man all-defense. Um, and I think we, we kind of we kind of got the hang of that early, um, and that helped us stay in games and, and win a lot of games this year. Um, and ultimately, we know everybody knows that plays basketball defense wins championships, and wins games. Um, you got to stop your opponents, um, and I think that's that's something that we try to hang our hat on this season. Um, and we did so. Defensively, how much evolution did you see out of Lou? I know again he was hampered by injury as well, but when you talk about defense, he comes to mind for me. But what did you see out of him? Like yeah, um, Lou's going to be Lou. Um, he can guard everybody, can't guard me, but he's going to be Lou. Um, but Lou gets smarter every year defensively. Um, his first year, um, he'd reach for no reason sometimes. Um, I'm players that look for that and get a foul for no reason. Um, but, but like I said, Lou gets smarter every year, which ultimately makes him a better defender every year. Um, and that's something that, as a team, it's, it's pretty easy for us to follow defensively when we have a guy like that um, who plays it at such a high level. When I ask him about guarding you, what's he going to say? Uh, Shay's a tough cover. <laughs> he better say that. Shay, we got one more in the room, then we'll go out and zoom, then we're wrap. I, I know you don't know where you're picking or where the team's going to be picking until the lottery, but are you someone who gets curious around draft time as far as like who might be your new teammate or like looking up highlights or yeah. getting to trying to know anything about those guys? Yeah, a little bit. Um. I I know I think I know what like what range we're in, um, so I'll look at like prospects of that range. Um, I don't I don't like consume my time in it for real. Just like when I'm bored, I will look at stuff like that. Um, but I think as you can see, our our guys do a great job of that. Um, all of our rookies were amazing this year. And great great gave great minutes. And I'm excited about them. All right, we got one on the Zoom. Christo Saltes, go ahead. Your question. Hey Shay, hope you're doing well. As a leader of this group and a huge member of the team you built from day one, how important, what does it mean for you to win with this team to the future? Yeah, um, it's super important. Um, I think that's why we all play the game. Um, we play the game to win. Um, and I think the more we bond, the more we spend time together, um, the more the reward will be when we do so, um, just because we're all so close. Um, and it's like a brotherhood. Um, and I'm excited for, for when that happens.